Okay, we are here at AWE TV, and as I lose my voice again, my name is Joseph Rampola, and I have Mindy Brooks here from Sesame Street. Uh, Mindy, tell us what Sesame Street is doing in the world of AR. We have been doing a couple things in the world of AR. So this is our second um, major project that we've done with Qualcomm using Euphoria, the augmented reality platform, and we are actually commercially releasing an app with them, in partnership with them this September, um, called Big Bird's Words. And so we are here to actually talk about some research that we've done with kids to what they've learned from actually using the app. Nice. Now, this is not the first time I think uh, I saw a Sesame Street involved in AR, am I correct? No. So tell me about the previous project. The previous <laughs> project was an augmented reality play set. So it was kids were asked to play with these figurines, and then if you hold up your device, it comes to life on your screen. So we've done two different things. That one has a focus on this free play with toys, and this other one is an app that focuses on finding words in the world around you. So. Um, how excited are you about what's going on in AR and really how it's going to teach kids? I mean, not oh. only about Sesame Street, but oh, I mean, yeah. Sesame Street is all about teaching kids on how to count, learning their ABCs, that sort of thing. So you must be really excited. Oh, we are really excited. And I think the findings from the study that we actually just, con this quick study we just conducted shows that kids can learn from it and do learn even with minimal exposure, which is really exciting for us. So that you can take an, you can take augmented reality and merge it with educational content and really create a robust experience for a preschooler and that's really exciting for us. And I, I guess also too, and I know um, now, I think you're unveiling this newest project. What, what is the date on that? When the app actually yeah. re hits the commercial market, it'll be, I think by the end of September is the last, That's great. when it will actually be out there. Because I, I also see that with smartphones now, you, you, you can inter, interact with television. So I would imagine down the road, not to get ahead of your current project, but you can hold up your smartphone in, in the future where kids can actually probably you know interact with those Sesame Street characters yep. and and people and that sort of thing so it's just kind of the sky's the limits really when sky you think is about the it. limit yeah and it's all for us right now trying to get an understanding of how do kids interact with this technology and how can we create the best educational and fun experience for them to optimize for the future so so you're talking tomorrow from correct mm -hmm. so tell tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about okay um, kind of the, the findings from this study. So um, we put phones into low-income preschools in rural Idaho and wanted to see what happens. And it's the phones with the app on it using augmented reality. And we wanted to see, is there learning um, w from just using the app alone? And there was. And we were really excited to say that there's um, some significant educational growth for kids and just exposed to the app for five to 10 days. So that's pretty um, phenomenal um, given the limited exposure, the very low income, and they have little exposure to mobile devices at this time. So we can only imagine where we'll be in a few years. That's great, that's yeah. great. Now, um, is this your first time here or? This is my second time. So we talked last year um, about the play set that we did and um, kind of the research behind that, the formative research that went into it and the lessons learned with preschoolers. And then now we're here to talk um, again about our next. Sesame, I think, talked at the keynote, keynote last mm -hmm. year, right? Yes. So now, any changes that you see this year from last year being here? A change is it's bigger, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's been bigger. I, I'm excited to see how so many people are engaged with this and really thinking about how we can use it in different ways. Now, how many years has Sesame Street been on, on air? But are, we're going Ballpark. into our 44th year, I believe. Yes, it's okay. 1969. Because I'm 44. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yep. Nice. Goes back. So, so um, you know, basically, as you wrap up here, you know, what are some of the big takeaways as you go back? And I, I guess the question is, is that, you know, Sesame Street is. You just mentioned 44 years on. I mean, that's. An incredible ride. I mean, that's more than The Simpsons. Um, do you see other educational um, shows and that sort of thing following? Because it looks like Sesame Street's taking the lead on this. Is, that, is, that, is what? Do you see other um, sh sure. child shows or, or other TV shows starting to uh, embrace this 
you know, the AR and how you can be interactive with, with. With AR? Yeah. Or, I mean, I think so. I think everyone's starting to see that as something that, um, as a possibility for kids. And I think what we want to be is the leaders in the field and showing people that um, not only creating quality television content, but also merging it across platforms. So I think um, we want to encourage people to continue to explore this area. Right. So. so AR is here to stay for Sesame Street. It is. All right. Good. Thanks, Mindy. Thanks yeah. so much. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you.